Horizontal stretch, vertical stretch, we have special names for them. Vertical shift, what's the next logical thing? Horizontal shift. So how do you draw like sine x plus 30? Well, why don't we try y equals sine x plus, wait, did you mean on the outside or on the inside? No, on the inside. Okay, let's do it, find out. So, can you see why now? Have I trained you by the time we've gotten to the fourth column over here? Why that has to be a horizontal shift, whereas this has to be a vertical shift. Can you see where the numbers are playing around and what they're close to and therefore what they're modifying? Does that make sense? Okay. Now look at that parabola that you drew up in the corner, right? When you saw a minus two, you went two units, you took that parabola and you went two units to the right. Okay. So when I look at this, I'm going to take my sine curve and I'm going to move it 30 degrees to the left. Right? It's that reverse thing there. Okay? So let's draw our normal set of axes from 0 to 360. Now, you can help yourself again, like it's a bit of a pedestrian way to do it, but you have this, right? If you are ever uncertain, use it, right? Just like I did over here, I'm just gonna play with some values and see what happens, right? If I test out x equals zero, so I'm gonna find my y-intercept right now, okay? And you put them into here, you're going to be entering in sine of zero plus 30 degrees, yes? But that's just sine 30. You know what sine 30 is, don't you? It's a half. So therefore, you can see my range hasn't changed. Why hasn't my range changed, by the way? Because I'm just moving side to side, right? It's not going up and down at all. So I'm still from negative one to one. That makes a half right there. Okay. So my sine curve is going to start over this way. That's a bit funny. Okay. Here's a question for you. Normally the sine curve takes 180 degrees to go from zero up and down back to zero. Normally it takes 180 degrees. But this guy's going to get there a bit faster, isn't he? What am I going to have to put in here to get to sine 180? 150, right? It gets there 30 degrees faster, right? So if you've drawn, here's 360, here's 180, where my beginning and ending is. Okay, well, I've got to find where 150 is. It's about there. And that's going to be my intercept, 150 degrees. I'll ask another question. Usually the turning point, that top one, happens at 90. But I don't have to put in x equals 90 to get there. What do I put in? 60. So you can see if that's like halfway, so that's 90, then I've got to go a bit before that, don't I? 60 degrees. So something like that. Is that enough for us to start drawing it? I'm going to start to put in a few more points just so I don't get confused myself. But this is the part of the sign graph we're used to drawing, except I've lopped off the front bit. You see that? In fact, the part that I've locked off is the first 30 degrees of the graph because I've moved everything to the left 30 degrees. And this bit, I'll put it back now, this bit has disappeared past the axis. Okay. Can you draw the rest of it? Okay. So what I've done, what I've done is, I've taken the regular sine graph. Do you see there's like a bit missing that's been sliced off the front? I'll show it for you here. There it is. Okay. So I normally would have graphed that, but because I've moved the whole thing to the left, it's just disappeared. Okay. That's how far I usually draw sine. But look, I haven't got to 360 yet. Uh, wrong color. There's 360 on the end. So now what do I do? You remember how I lost a bit off the front of the graph over here? That bit that I lost over here should exactly appear over here, right? Just like I moved it to the left and this part went off the view. Well, there was part of the graph over here which I've now moved onto view. Does that make sense? So the same green bit that I'm missing over here, I can put there. Where's the ending point? How high do I go? A half, because look, that's where I started. Does that make sense? And I have one full period. So that should line up exactly with my beginning spot. Okay. 
How do you feel about that? Does that make sense? Yeah. Can you have a go at this? Can you draw this? Let's do um, this guy. Hmm. I'll do this one. Can you do that one for me? I'm going to give you a second to catch up. Get a head start. know what that last graph looks like, call me and I'll have a look. You got something for me? to watch out for where you started. See where you started is actually a turning point, which means that it should be nice and gentle at the bottom, as opposed to this. See how this begins sharply. It's like, whoop, going up, okay? You've actually started at one of these kinds of spots. So see how it's gentle up there? Your graph is not. So you need to change that right at the beginning. Right there, see that spot there? Can you put your hand up if you've got a graph? Hands up. The very last one, hands up straight. A few people, thank you, hands up. Okay, let me let me help you out. Because we've been doing sign, 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 sign all morning, what I've done just to help you is to put a little cos graph up there because um, I have that in my brain now because I've drawn so many tens of thousands of these at cos x. When I say cos x, I involuntarily picture this in my mind, okay? But before you get there, just putting this little visual cue for yourself is kind of helpful. You're like, oh yeah, now I remember what it is and I don't have to hold it in my brain at the same time, okay? Now, that's regular cos x. I'm doing a horizontal shift of 180 degrees. In which direction am I going? I'm going to the right, just like this went to the right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it up on this drawing, right? If you take each of the points that's on this graph and move it 180 degrees to the right, this spot over here, which I got at zero, is going to move forward 180 degrees. Do you agree? You see now I'm at the midway, right? Uh, have a look at this guy. See how this used to be at 180? Well, I'm going to move him over to 360 because everything is going to the right, like that. Right? So what I did was I just compared these two spots. Well, all the spots in between will also move like this. Do you see that? You see what I've done is I've just taken the first half of cos x and moved him to the right. That looks good. But then now I'm missing the first half, right? Because it has disappeared off of there, right? So what is it going to look like? It's going to be this part here, right? In fact, I've drawn this a little badly. Because what you should find now, and this is what I'm going to draw, is something you ought to recognize, which is a bit strange. 